You know that feeling when you were a kid and you used to get dressed up because it made you really happy inside? Well, I have been sick for like two weeks with a chronic illness flare up dealio and I just wanna feel happy. So we're gonna do a get ready with me today and try some new products and have a little fun because that's what this should be, right? Fun. I'm gonna start with the YSL primer that I have because I always think that one works like super well. I have just been feeling so down in that I usually like to get up and do things in the morning. I like to get dressed, make myself feel like myself, you know? But I just don't feel up for it lately. I just feel like no matter what I'm doing, I just am not 100% there. And it kind of sucks and it's kind of hard. And if you have chronic illness, you probably relate to that. But love this primer. This literally is like a godsend in Texas. It helps mattify my oily skin too, which is also a godsend. Now, one of the ways we're gonna make this extra fun is I got in some stuff from MAC. So we're gonna go through some of it and play with it because it's sparkly and shimmery. And that is what dressing up is all about. Do we have anywhere to go? No, not really, but we're gonna have fun. We have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow. It's a liquid shadow. Then we also have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow to go on top of it. So I'm so excited to try these out. And then we also have some lip stuff. We have a lipstick and we have some lip glosses. So can't wait. We don't have less of an idea how to say it, but from Lady Gaga's new line, we're gonna be trying this one foundation that's Arnica based, which is for reducing inflammation and things like that. I can sometimes use Arnica gel after a bruise um, and that usually clears stuff really quickly. So I'm really curious how this is gonna act, especially my skin is a little red, a little puffy always. So I'm gonna put a little on my hand. I'm a little worried it's gonna be too light. No, it's a great shade. I am wrong. It's not too light, it's a great shade. So this is what it looks like. We're just gonna, I like to spread it a little so it's like a little more even when I'm putting it on. And we're just gonna start going in with this one. I feel like this would have applied better with a brush. Maybe next time I'll do a brush instead of a blender because really these are made for blending, not applying. So, and I know that, but whatever. Another cool thing we got to try is this Hourglass Airbrush Concealer. Um, I tried to get it in a slightly not highlighty shade because I didn't... Can you guys hear my dog? My dog is making noises in the background. Okay, so we got the Va Vanish Airbrush Concealer. Tried not to get it in too bright a shade. I'm a little nervous it's going to be too dark. Let's see. So I'm putting a little concealer just where like my redness tends to come back through even if I'm doing things and mm, let's cover up some acne too while we're at it and like dark spots and stuff. I'm gonna let that sit for 0.2 seconds but while I'm letting it set, look I got a new brush. It's the Hourglass Concealer Brush and I kept seeing this and the foundation brush all over TikTok so I had to make a call. I couldn't get both. That just, that's a lot. So I got concealer brush because I kind of thought that might do me a little better. Um, I'm really excited to try it and also a little nervous. Are you guys ready? Okay. I feel like this concealer is too yellow. Guys, I can't believe I did that. Okay. Well, any advice on what to do with too yellow concealer, I am up for because I feel like returning it at this point is not going to happen, frankly. So if you have any ideas what to do with it, that's not returning it. <laughs> Shout out. Like, this matches so poorly. I'm glad I'm showing you guys this because I feel like it's at least proving I'm gonna be authentic and show you guys when it doesn't work. And frankly, this is not really working. The shade, love the concealer. The coverage is really pretty, but like, I did not get the right shade. But try to help even it out. I'm gonna go back in with a little more of the really light foundation and see if that helps kind of just even it out ever so. You know what I can do? I'm gonna use the concealer brush to try to blend this in with the concealer. I saw a tip where someone said to get it all the way over your brush that you need to basically be like swirling all the like product into it and then doing it so you're not trying to blend it with the brush on your face and doing everything all at once. I think frankly they were correct. Cause yeah, no, this works a lot better pretty instantly than when I usually do concealer on a brush. I 
I always forget this, but try to hold your brushes at the end because otherwise you get too much pressure and it can make it a little too heavy. Okay, that looks so much better after we try to get a little more foundation on it. I'm feeling much less concerned. <laughs> I feel like the under eyes especially came out a lot better because, because I keep hearing to use darker colors instead of a highlight underneath. Maybe doing that with the foundation on top of it kind of made it better. I'm so sorry, my eyes always look red. This is just where we're at. I don't think I already did this, so we're gonna put some on my neck now so that it blends a little better. I almost always forget to put it on my neck, but that's quite literally like one of the most important steps, so don't be me. This is a newer product for me. It's a L'Oreal primer. I saw it on TikTok. That's where I get a lot of my makeup tips, frankly, because I like that you can actually see the videos alongside it to see how it works in real life. Um, just comes out looking white, like mascara kind of. And I find it makes a good difference, but that may just be a personal placebo effect, but we're gonna put it on anyways. I try to go in like both directions. So I'll go a little bit like up and down and then I'll go a little bit side to side to try to get that length from the fibers on your lashes. That's my little tip. Okay, so I'm gonna let the primer set for a little bit. And then while we do that, I'm gonna put on some blush, I think. Does that feel like a good next step? Let's do, let's do blush. As part of my new makeup I just got in, I got the Patrick Ta. This is what it looks like. If you haven't seen this blush up till now, the really cool thing about it is that it comes with a cream and a powder. And so I like that because I feel like you can set the blush a lot better, it'll last longer, and I'm a big blush girly. So if you are too, I think this is pretty cool, but I haven't tried it yet, so let's go. I am like slightly ready to cry because I was so excited to show you guys as I was getting ready. And then I deleted the last take that I did of showing me putting this on. So I'm gonna show you with my hand and then show you up close. So this is what my eyes look like with just this. I didn't put on primer. It kind of gives the vibe of like Urban Decay Moon Dust kind of thing, but different. And I like that it's liquid. So here we're gonna do a different swipe. I see, I already did. I promise I tried. <laughs> I'm just bad at this, so. So cute. So this is my new liquid shadow. Probably gonna use this for holidays and stuff like that. So excited about it. Um, next, I'm gonna probably go in with a powder and this will help kind of set it. It's a copper, it's called Couture Copper is the shade. So the liquid eyeshadow is called Blinking Brilliant. I think if I had to do this for a more like going for color situation, I would have used a primer. I think that's something that like if I was doing a normal day to day and I just wanted the cute shimmer for like a day glowy look, I don't know if it would be necessary, frankly. Okay, here's what we look like. Okay, so we're going with coppery vibes. Let's pick a good eyeshadow brush for this. Now, whenever I do glittery eyeshadow, I think back to this one girl who was um, a waitress when we were at, my husband and I were at this really fancy restaurant in Atlanta, old Vinings Inn, I don't know if you guys have ever been in, but it's really cute, so if you haven't gone, it's worth going. Um, and she was like the nicest person ever and had the cutest makeup ever. And it was all glittery, and so I was like, girl, how do you get your glitter to stay? Because with primers even, I am not getting there. And she said what she likes to do is go on with a light powdery kind of base coat, and then she'll swipe it with her finger and then dab it on directly so that she gets the depth of the color that she's looking for. Um, also, if you wanna use a fluffy brush, it's gonna go on a lot less harsh. If you're gonna use one of these, you can definitely like place the powdery color a lot better. So we're gonna use this one today and then use the fluffy side to kind of blend out. Tell me this wouldn't be so cute for the holidays. Like it'll be cute for Thanksgiving next week when I am back home and stuff with seeing my family. But like, if you're trying to just play dress up for the holidays, vibes love it so cute and then what i'm gonna do is use the fluffier side to kind of blend it out just a little i'm gonna do kind of a light hold and do little circles and that kind of helps let, make it less harsh not a makeup artist but these are some just easy tips that i feel like infuse into your routine so i'm just gonna kind of blend 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 okay i think this is looking super cute let's do the other eye Okay, this is so stupid cute. I'm obsessed with these color combos. So I use the liquid as the base and then I use the powder as to put on top of it. This is what we're at right now. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with a liner and then just a mascara and try to keep this like super 
kind of like coppery gold prettiness instead of trying to go too hard with like extra crazy colors or anything like that. Although those can be fun too. I'm gonna pause doing makeup for two seconds and put the teeniest bit of lotion on my lips and then put some Vaseline on it. Literally works better than like 90% of chapsticks to just do this. And so especially when I'm about to do my lips, I like to do this in advance because it helps it be a little less chapped when I go to do it, a little more smooth. And I mean literally Vaseline, like I just have a big tub of Vaseline and that helps me prep for when I like to do lipstick. Vaseline, sponsor me. Next we're gonna go, I said we were gonna do eyeliners. I'm gonna be chaotic. We're gonna do eyebrows instead because I feel like that needs to be done first, frankly. Like it just feels like there's nothing like framing here. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little bit of the eyebrow deal, then liner, then mascara, then lips and powders, and then we're done. Yeah, I think then we're done. So what I just did was I went in with this Dior liner and it's kind of like a coal dark brown color. Love how it works. I go from the bottom lash line and try to raise upwards and it kind of gives this nice little swoop. It's very natural for like everyday makeup. Um, I usually do not do falsies, but I do love falsies. I just can't do them very well. So if you have any tips for your girl, drop them below. But in the meantime, I will keep doing mascara. I'm using this one that I was just gifted by YSL and it literally just goes on so freaking cool. And like, like it makes the whole lash line, I feel like really pop. And because I have such like pale skin, I feel like some mascaras can look so harsh. This one just feels like super good. I don't know, really a fan. Okay, I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Auburn because I have kind of reddish hair. It's kind of like Auburn, frankly. Um, I already put some on. I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit to show you guys, but this is kind of what it looks like. I think it matches the hair color really well. Um, there are some spots that get a little more sparse. Sometimes I do go back in with a darker color to kind of fill those in, but frankly, I'm just not gonna do it today. Move on to setting spray and then we're going with some powders and then I think we're done with that and then we can just do lips. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, this is the setting spray I use. I went way too hard with that first spray. I like got my eye and everything. <laughs> okay, so I put that on and then we're gonna put on some powder. Um, now, a lot of people do like heavy powders and stuff like that and that totally makes sense. I do get it, but I'm gonna do just like a little bit of the powder and then I'm gonna try to go in with my new little hourglass powder that I have, which is just gonna like a soft glowy vibe. I already have one that is almost at its wit's end here. Um, and it's a much lighter shade and a little bit pinker, so I'm curious how the other one is gonna do for me. But we're gonna try anyways. Okay, so I have this one and it's... Okay, I have this Laura Mercier one and that's what we're gonna use for the powder for under eyes. And just like really lightly tapping it in because I don't want it to go so heavy that my under eyes look like they're just like cracking with the powder and the products. And then I have this one, which I like to use for oiliness because I have oily skin and I'm in Texas where I sweat anyways, frankly. So I'm gonna get some of my brush and then I'm gonna even it out on my hand. So it's way too much, okay. And I'm just gonna like, where I'm most oily is where I'm putting this because I don't want it just like caking everywhere, but like my T-zone and above my lips is where I tend to just have a little more oiliness. So we're now like getting it nice and set. I like to put a little bit down here to help it kind of like transition well. This is where we're at. Should I do bronzer? I feel like we should do bronzer guys. Let's go in with bronzer real quick too. Um, I love one from my Hourglass palette. So that's probably what we're gonna use right now. And I like to use a brush like this. It's kind of like angled. This one needs to be washed frankly, my bad. And we're gonna go under and kind of lift it a little bit. We're gonna go under and kind of lift it a little bit. And give it that kind of a little bit of contour slash warmth. And warmth is more bronzer, contour is more of a cool tone, just FYI. I like to kind of go in with a combo because I think they serve different purposes, frankly. Okay, so we're done with a kind of bronzer warmth vibe. And now I'm going to go back over everything with my new powder, which is just like a nice ambient little lighting is what it's called, um, finishing type powder. But it goes on so just like glowy and pretty and I swear my skin never looks better than when I've used this. So 
love this color. This is a Duke shade for me. I'm really digging it though. Okay, and then I'm gonna work some down here. Next, we're going in with a powder version that I got the same blush that I was using earlier. Um, I love that it comes with the cream and the powder. I feel like it makes it super versatile. And I think when you layer powder on top of any liquid, it just tends to stay better. I just think it does. So let me just. Okay, this looks so pretty to me. I love the way that the pinks are looking with the coppers. I think those like really complement each other so well. Um, I'm gonna go in with doing lips now. Are we ready? Oh, I almost forgot my favorite. Okay, this is great. I love putting this on just like a little bit of my nose just to give it kind of like a very subtle highlight. I know I am not the first one to come up with this. This is like a very much so viral tip. So shout out to all the girls before me who figured this one out. <laughs> so just like a little bit of lightness, super cute. You can even put some under. Now, I have four different products to try from MAC for lips, so I'm gonna to try to figure out which combination would be best for right now. This one says Squirt Plumping Gloss Stick, which sounds awesome. Um, and then this one says it's Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. So I'm kind of curious to try this and then do the plumping gloss on top of it and see how that works. I also really love their lip gloss ones, so it's kind of a real struggle to pick here, but Thing. We're gonna pick Oh Baby, which is a lip gloss color, lip gloss, and see how that does because the color of the eyes are so pretty and I kinda wanna match the kind of beautiful copper vibes that it's giving. Tell me this is not so cute because I'm just, it's really fun playing dress up. As an adult, as a kid, it's just fun playing dress up. At least I think so. Just on the bottom lip. And never pump, always swirl as your tip that my mom gave me when I was younger because it dries out your products when you pump. Okay, I think we're all done. What do we think? Because I'm pretty obsessed with all of this. It's really fun. Thanks for playing dress up with me today.